Hello viewers, in this video I am going to talk to you about acidopsia or what we call it as wobbling eyes or we call it as nystagmus in the medical term. See this wobbling eyes or nystagmus is a condition wherein the eye keeps shaking and this shaking happens because of a poor development in the eyes or the poor vision or they have some conditions in the brain which causes the eye to shake constantly and it is involuntary and haphazard movement of the eye and this can be seen in children as old as young as very newborn children itself or and as old as about 70 80 also depending on the cause for this nystagmus see in this thing nystagmus or wobbling eyes the child or the person will have the eyes shaking in different directions and this involuntary and we can't stop the movements even the patient wants to stop it it's very difficult so what happens is the eye keeps shaking in a horizontal manner or it can shake in a vertical manner or it can uh, you know, revolve around or like oscillopsia like in a different directions it moves around and this can be seen in children where the vision is very much impaired because of different reasons cataracts, congenital cataracts or any trauma or there is a coronary opacity the vision is not developed properly and the brain is also not developed as far as the visual stimulus is concerned and this causes the eyes to uh, shake in a different directions and this is very important because if you detect this nystagmus early we can treat the cause if there is any uh, impairment in the vision uh, causing uh, modalities we can correct that problem and then we can restore the vision and then the nystagmus will reduce or it will become very minimal that is one thing second thing this acquired nystagmus one what was talked to us is the congenital nystagmus in acquired nystagmus the developed nystagmus develops after a certain age due to some reasons like because of any trauma injury and road traffic accidents or any head traumas or if there's any tumors or any bleeding or if they have any other uh, neurological uh, illnesses which can cause these kind of things drug induced can also cause this kind of uh, nystagmus it's very important to detect this acquired nystagmus any nystagmus or the wobbling eyes shaky eyes is developing in a person and sudden onset we should be investigated thoroughly and we should visit the eye doctor or a neurologist so that we can find out the cause for this by doing some tests or sometimes we do MRI scans or CT scans to find out the exact cause for this nystagmus. Many times because of neurological problems or temporarily the nystagmus comes and then once the condition is uh, corrected then the nystagmus will stop. In children we usually do this nystagmus surgeries also to overcome the shaky eyes. The, the, the typical posture a child will adopt is that they will keep their head in one position like this or like this like chin up or down so by doing this the child will make the uh, nystagmus or the shaky eyes in a neutral position so that they will have a very shaky less uh, vision so that they will have some depth perception so they adopt different types of head postures to overcome this uh, wobbling eyes so it's very important to detect those children which they keep their abnormal head postures get them evaluated and when even close observing we find that the eyes are shaking eyes so many times it can be corrected by surgery and by uh, giving vision therapy or by special spectacles and some other exercises so very important to find out the cause for nystagmus or the wobbling eyes and treat them on time so that this will not lead on to long term consequences in the